Hey guys, welcome back. I hope all of you are safe and maintaining social distancing. In this video, I'm going to show you what I made for breakfast this week. So today, I'm going to show you how to make suji ka halwa and puri. For making the halwa, in a pan, add one tablespoon of ghee. You can obviously substitute with oil and one tablespoon of oil. If you don't want, don't add the ghee. To that, add about one piece tablespoon of chopped cashew and raisins. Fry that lightly and until the cashew is a little golden in color. Then add three fourth cup of uh, suji or semolina and toss that until the color has changed slightly. As you will see, I did I did not toast the semolina for too long, so my preparation is a little bit white. But if you want, you can to, uh, further process it until it's the color that you like. After tossing it in the pan for 2-3 to three minutes, add about 400ml mil, of milk. I've used 1% milk. If you want, you can add half milk and half water also. To that about one fourth cup of sugar. In low to medium heat, stir the semolina until it has absorbed most of the milk and rehydrated. Keep the heat on low because semolina has a tendency to catch and burn. Don't let it dry out too much in the pan as it will thicken up as it sits. Now for the puri, heat oil in a karai or a deep pan. Form dough, form dough balls, roll them out into the shapes you want as you can see. My circles are not perfect and there is a kitten if you guys know someone who can adopt these kittens please feel free to connect with me
the dye is hot add the dough and fry until it's puffed up It's a very easy and a very cost effective recipe that you can try at home and enjoy with your family during this lockdown days. I hope you liked today's video. If you want you can follow me on my Instagram and Facebook page and we're mostly active on my Instagram. So do check that out. and i will see you guys later bye